So with Children's Health Alliance of Wisconsin, we discovered that we needed a more efficient and effective way to transport infants from the weight of five pounds up to 14 pounds, essentially the itty bitty babies that we would typically transport in their own car seats. So to do that, we got the Neomate, which is essentially a car seat that straps to the cot that allows us to position the infant as needed, as well as care for them with their airway, do CPR, provide medication, start IVs, and just general monitoring. Car seats are the safest for personal vehicles, not necessarily the safest for an ambulance. To fulfill the need for us to get the Neomates, we applied for a grant through Quick Trip, and we were given that grant through the Quick Trip Cares Foundation, so we can now safely transport our little Quick Trippers. We also were given a grant donation from a local family whom we'd cared for their child, and they gave us a sizable donation for us to use as we saw appropriate, so why not use it for pediatric product? So this is our Neomate. It is our brand new device essentially a portable car seat. It also is a space saver because it folds up like this. By un or unbuckling it, it has everything we need inside as well as a head cradle. So we just unbuckle it, open up all the straps as such, and it attaches to our cot. And it's more secure than transporting the patient in their own car seat because we are able to make it snug and it is built for this essentially built for this. So we do that. And then our other straps secure to a bar underneath the mattress. And with practice, this can be done, you know, fairly quickly and efficiently. So it buckles underneath where the mattress goes instead of to the arms of the cot itself. So from here, we can adjust the seat as needed, up, down. We can do it down if we have to do CPR. We can have it all the way up for comfort. We have everything you would have in a regular car seat except this one folds up. We have a headrest, we have buckles, and we have groin straps. So we would unfold and unbuckle all of these straps. And my little monkey baby here sits in like this. We have a nice head cradle for the little bitty babies. And we basically strap them in just like a car seat. As with a regular car seat, you want your chest buckle at the sternum at the level of the armpit. Nice and tight, not loose. And the groin straps the same way. Nice and tight, not loose. We can tighten as needed to make sure baby is secure. So now we have baby in the portable car seat. We have the head cradle, chest strap, groin strap, and essentially baby isn't going anywhere in the event of a motor vehicle accident in the ambulance. We can manage baby's airway. We can still do CPR if we had to by taking this buckle off. We can still have access to arms, legs, things like that for taking blood pressures, monitoring pulse oximeter, as well as starting IVs if we need to. And in the event that something were to happen in the ambulance, we would have a crash situation, this would be safest for baby versus being in a car seat because they are secured to the cot with a device made to do so. So that's our Neomate. It is, as appropriate, weight five pounds up to 14. So we could essentially transport a brand new newborn baby up to a baby probably eight months old in this Neomate. For babies and children who are greater than 14 pounds, we also have what's called a PediMate. And this isn't new to the service. We've had this for quite some time. It's just another device, a portable car seat, to do what this does with bigger children. So, deploys the same way, it unrolls. This takes children and infants from a sized 15 pounds up to 40 pounds. So it deploy the same way. to the head of the cot, secure like that, with these buckles securing to where the mattress would go on the side of the cot. <clears throat> 
and it is just as secure as the Neomate. It's just bigger. So from here, we would unbuckle our buckles and it's the exact same, made by the same company, Ferno Inferno. We would take our, now we'll say 15 pound baby, out of our Neomate and place that baby too large for the Neomate, saying he weighs 15 pounds. We would take him and put him into the PDB. And the deployment is the same as the Neomate. It does not have a head cradle because infants who weigh more than 14 pounds typically are able to support their own head and neck. In the instance that they're not able to, we are still able to make a head cradle with a blanket or a towel roll. You want the sternum clip at the sternum, at the level of the armpit, to ensure the most safe attachment to baby. And these are also the groin straps. You'd want them pulled nice and tight as well. You don't want to be able to pinch any of this. And again, the child is secured to the cot with a device made for transporting pediatric patients in an ambulance. We still have access to patient's airway, chest for CPR procedures if we needed to, as well as limbs for vital signs, IV things, hand holding. So now that we have two devices to safely transport pediatric patients, we have the Neomate and the PediMate transporting patients from five pounds up to 40 pounds. We have the safest, most efficient way to transport those patients. Traditionally, we would have used car seats because we knew the patient's car seat was fit for them and it was the easiest to use. However, we now have these that are space saving, rapid deployed, and they're made to do so on the cot. That is what they're there for. So we now have those thanks to Quick Trip and the family donation that we got.